Hi, it's Thursday the 19th of November 2020 and we're now in the last blue 13 day process which is here which is Blue Eagle. So Blue Eagle is the 15th Mayan sign and the planet is Jupiter and today is my son's Mayan day and also my friend Anne as well. So happy Mayan day. So really key day for me as well. And I just checked the moon degree. So we're in waxing moon in Aquarius at zero degree which is the exact degree of my ascendant. So yeah, feels, can really feel it. Feels amazing actually. And so there isn't a reading for the degree zero, the inside degree. So I'm gonna read you one degree. So the energy today now synchronistically is going to be on December, the 21st on the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere, that's going to be the day that Saturn and Jupiter go into Aquarius at zero degrees. So the energy that I'm feeling now, and I'm really, really feeling very vibrant energy, a real shift. Um, bearing in mind that we've still got, um, just find my piece of paper or whatever. We've still got the Venus square, Jupiter and Pluto. So Venus in Libra um, with Jupiter, Pluto and Capricorn in, with Jupiter, Pluto in, and Saturn in Capricorn. And um, this continues, let me just check. Oh no, actually, uh, today's the last day of it because we're on the 19th, aren't we? So yeah, Venus squares, Jupiter, Pluto and Saturn in Capricorn. And so, you know, this is a very strong dynamic around coming into balance with the shadow and mastery of it. You know, Jupiter is the mastery planet. So again, with the next 13 days of transformation, because we're in the blue, what has been coming up for you in the last 26 days? So we've had red moon what was coming up about authenticity, being the beacon of light. And then what was coming up for you with white wind? How do you transform that? How do you speak that? How do you embody spirit more through healing? And then now we've got the transformation. So 13 days of transformation at a very powerful time. And we'll be going into Sagittarius energy on the 21st. So inside degrees, one degree Aquarius is the nearest. So a two headed calf, taking a good look at things with an eager eye brings you right into the middle of the dilemma of polarities. As you stand there faced with the different sides, you are impartial. Neither side pulls you more sharply than the other. Immense opportunity, huge challenge. You have vital potential for brilliant synthesis, but a subtle temptation to think too long. A schooling in alchemy in every moment. Do you find what is ready to emerge or do you think about it? Progressive evolution draws you through all your mistakes into all that can be. Also today, we have, um, which I haven't mentioned in another video before, we've gone on into Overtone Moon five days ago. So we've now gone into the Mastery Moon. Overtone is number five. So we're working with the four steps before we're squaring the circle 
in magical terms, in alchemical terms. So we're now looking at what's gone on since the 26th of July, what have we been initiated into in Red Moon? Red Moon began on the 26th of July for 28 days. So this is the 13 moon cycle that lasts for 28 days and is the same every year. So 26th of July, first 28 days, we were all initiated into what we were gonna be working with throughout the 13 moons around authenticity and being the beacon of light. And so each of those subsequent moons, number one to number four, you've now got the format, what have you got to master? So you already know, haven't you? So in terms of goddess cards, we've got Hera, which if you are a fan like me of Jason and the Argonauts, then she was the one who was on the helm of the boat and she would speak to him whenever he asked for guidance, but she could only help him so many times. Dignity, bring to me a respect for all stages of womanhood, maiden, mother, crone. As the ritual waters of old restored your youth, let my consciousness of oneness with all be restored through the flowing energies of life. So again, mastery is something that we achieve over our lifetime. And, you know, we have to keep going around the lap of <laughs> the labyrinth to get the experience. We came for the experience. This is not something to remain standing back from. It's why we're in human being body form is we're here to actually do it. So, and create a manual and become really consciously aware of who we are and who we can be. So, our persona has been created by lots of different people and through experience and taking on our family traits and family behaviours and family, family patterning. And so it's time for us now to keep the wise stuff, the mastery stuff, and to become masters at healing. Uh, Blue Eagle is all about being a planetary server and how we serve the planet the most is becoming a superhuman being through healing our personal story and moving from being a survivor to thriving now so learning about all of these stories that have happened to our family that we're still living so white world bridger is the sixth mayan sign what needs to die so that we can live so again Let's rewrite the old story with our heart, not just our head. Head on its own doesn't create the healing. And just check what's coming up. So November 21st, as I said, Sun goes into Sagittarius and Venus goes into Scorpio. So really deep feelings coming in um, around death and rebirth both on the same day. So it's going to be a really powerful day. So relationships and intimacy, uncovering the truth and finding the light within. So really going into that healing gateway, number nine, Sagittarius, where the stars are made. And also coming up in this wave spell on the 28th, we've got Neptune turns direct and at 18 degrees Pisces. So if you've got any of the planets around 18 degrees Pisces, which I do, you will feel the energy of the transit more strongly. So again, knowing about your star code, knowing about your chart, really handy to know these things because um, it can explain, you'll still have the process anyway, um, but becoming consciously aware of it, what it means, 
And Neptune really is about deep esoterica, dreams, amazing, amazing stuff. In Pisces, Christ consciousness. And in order to achieve that, we have to let go of the delusions and the illusions. On November the 30th, we have the full moon coming up. So we're, we're building up that energy now. And a lunar eclipse in Gemini at eight degrees. So again, where that falls in your chart um, is really key for you. And it will be key for me, I know, because that's key to my stairway to heaven. So it's going to hit that. So I will do a video nearer the time and I've got a key event coming up then as well on a personal level. Again, we've got the Chariots card, which if you've been watching the videos, you will know has popped up in the last 13 days and a real favourite of mine. So the seventh card in the major arcana and I will put a link on for you. So again, this is about the moon in Cancer. It's about the human vessel being the chariot. It's about, do I hold my horses? Do I move ahead? The soul is protected in this lifetime, in every lifetime, the soul is an eternal being. So it's remembering that and letting go of our fear as much as possible. And the more that we heal, the more that we act from a place of integrity. Where Jupiter is in your chart is really key. As I say, Jupiter is going to be going into Aquarius. It's going to be an amazing time coming up. We haven't been in this energy for hundreds and hundreds of years. So it's going to be, wow, the age of Aquarius. What does that mean? Where Aquarius is in your chart, of course, is really key too. And the more that you can learn about your code and how the starry skies are influencing you at this time, the more you can work consciously. That's what it's all about. So over the next 13 days, notice what's really been coming up for you around your personal authenticity. Notice if you felt that you can speak the truth from your heart. It may not be the truth. It may be a subjective truth of your own perspective. And knowing the difference can be tricky at times. It can feel very powerful. We have so many powerful things happening on the planet around people's experiences now with each other, with authority, with health in particular. And so one exercise that you can do is you can look back over the last 26 days and see where your repeating patterns are. The more that we go into the deeper levels of the story, we can see the pat patterns emerging. So I'm intending to do a workshop on this in the near future, and I will do a video about that, about how you can actively work with your family pattern, how you can see how you're modeling your parents in some way, how you can see what really bugged you, what really hurt you as a child, and how that's showing up now in your day-to-day -day life. And most importantly, how you can heal it, how you can unwrap it all, how you can rewire it all, and how you can start to live a very different life starting today. Each day, the more that we become aware of the past and heal it, the more we can be present and the more that we change the future, literally. 
this is a magical time for our conscious evolution. If you'd like to know more about your star codes, if you'd like to know more about a healing process using emotional freedom technique, or you have any questions at all, please do get in touch with me. My website is flowwithjoe.com. Hope to see you soon. Hope you have an amazing 13 days of transformation. Bye for now.